What's going on guys? YouTube family, how are we all doing today? It's uh, Keith here at Pristine Auto Clean and today I got a huge announcement for you guys. You guys probably don't care. I do because I love what I do and I love cool equipment and uh, we just got something really special in. We have a 50 foot 3 8 MTM swiveled Cobra Jet hose. Best of the best. We have the Kronzel 1622 TS, um, I believe is the number on it, but this is the best of the best as far as electric power washers are concerned. It's serviceable, oil changes, you can, it's, it can run a 50 foot hose effortlessly, it's quiet, it basically checks all the boxes if you are in the market for one. And the only reason I'm replacing this is, this is my current unit, it's a Sun Joe. Um, I don't know about the specs, I don't care about the specs, it's a piece of crap, but it was like 80 bucks on an Amazon flash sale from 160. So I got my money's worth out of it. Things probably prepped 500 cars already. I don't know what the hours on it would be, but I've had Greenworks machines, Ryobi's. They're all junk. Um, for a typical homeowner, they're fine as long as you prime the system. And you know, after you take it apart, you can bleed all the water out so it doesn't cavitate. But what I have noticed is if you do use them in a professional setting, it's not when it's it's not that it's not going to break it's when it's going to break and i can tell you it's going to break at the most inconvenient time and time is money i don't play these games so i buy bought once i cried once i got the crowns unit here um but i've already replaced this hose on this thing junk quarter inch hose cheap it coils up like crap but i do have it paired to an sgs 35 which is got a built-in swivel it's honestly the best pressure washer trigger you can possibly buy in my opinion it's stainless steel i mean had this thing for three years i, I kind of throw it around i definitely manhandle it because i'm just that type of person i guess um i try not to but you know what happens and we're going to be pairing that with the Kronzel unit um i gotta still build some type of shelf to mount this thing on since it's going to be a permanent fixture now that i got a 50 foot hose and i don't have to move the machine around i can prep cars out there now I don't have to walk all the way around the truck just to get to another side. I'm going to put up a nice hose reel on the wall. That way it's just pull, go, turn the machine on, and you're ready to rip. Never going to disconnect it from the water line so there will be no cavitation issues. Uh, we'll go ahead and start unboxing these things. And uh, I'm so pumped. Like, I know I don't look it. I cannot tell you how happy this made me. I ordered it about 26 hours ago, and it's already here. Um, and I just want to throw a huge shout out to Scott at DetailDivision.com detail underscore division dot com don't ever forget that name because scott is a man when it comes to the, the buy ones cry ones items and anything that's quality carbon collective you name it he supplies it mtm hydro Cronsley is an authorized distributor clint korea he also is i think the sole u.s importer for those and if you don't know about clint you're sleeping best towels in the game um mind you they have a time and a place the zl1 that's a time you use clint you don't screw around you don't want to jeopardize this you know you got a ratty toyota corolla you're not going to want to use clint on it but everything that this guy sells is top notch fuego he doesn't fuck around i try not to fuck around um but sorry about the language i'm just so jazzed about this um 24 hours he got it to me free shipping on the unit um even hooked me up with the hose sent it in a different order but got me all set up dialed in with the right fittings and everything so it's literally Plug this thing up to water, plug in power, bleed it, and we're ready to rip. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start unboxing this and uh, show you guys what exactly comes in with the package. Um, and, you know, yeah, we'll get rolling with it. All right, guys, bear with me. I'm only one person. I don't have a filmer today. So I'm going to be unboxing the hose first because I want to make you guys wait in anticipation. Johnny B, bore out my address. Actually, it's the business address. So you guys want to come check us out you got the address granted you can find it on google but we're going to do the hose first purchased uh, from scott detail division and i mean first off i don't know if you've ever ordered anything from him but there's always a personalized note i'm not going to read it to you guys i'm going to read it to myself um always gives a nice quality sticker because scott doesn't really mess around everything he has is top line So this is the Cobra Jet hose, torque marked fittings, everything's sealed. This is basically for troubleshooting, and look at this. <sighs> yeah, 
dual swivel action, like, come on, 3 8 hose. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than this. Um, this is gonna go great on the hose reel. I cannot wait to get everything set up with this. Um, now, there's not much else to really go over with this hose, so we're gonna dig into the crossing itself. So the actual number on this unit is uh, Kronzel HD1622 TS, which stands for total stop. This is a total stop unit, so when you let go of the trigger, the machine is off. Another handwritten note. Can't wait to read them. Gives me a little bit of joy in my day. Um, I'm going to have to put the GoPro down because I don't think I can lift this out. Um, but here's some specs on it. Uh, 110 to 127 volts, 60 hertz, NEMA 515 plug with a GFI built in. 45 or 450 to 1600 psi a max of 1800 1.7 gallons per minute uh, max temperature of 140 i don't have to worry about that because i'm just running regular cold water um i don't run a heater if i was going to buy a hot water pressure washer i'd buy a hot seat but i don't deal with fumes inside of the shop so this is uh this is the best alternative people oh you're spending this much on an electric pressure washer um yeah, well, you know what? I will never have to buy another one the rest of my life. And you just, you can't beat it. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig this thing out of the box and we'll get to unboxing it. Please check this back real well. Scott personally goes through each of these machines before they get shipped out. So we actually go through it, make sure all the proper equipment is in here. Say hello to your new favorite tool. And I'm saying hello. So I'm gonna be straight up transparent with you guys. This hose, from what Scott says, is absolute junk. Kronzel knows it, that's why they recommend MTM accessories. But yeah, we're never even gonna use this. Get all this crap out of the way. You do not wanna throw this away. You need this for your serial number information if you ever have to warranty it. Oil fill cap, the GFI is right there. So far, what I already see is decent quality lance. Um, I believe this is an adjustable spray tip. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm usually, I don't like the extensions on them, um, but I'll give this thing a shot, just why not. Um, here's the other half of it. I don't use these, these are way too bulky for detailing. Um, the only time I use these with an undercarriage rinse, so I will put a quick connect on that. Uh, that way I can simply just disconnect it, connect it, Turn the machine back on and I'm ready to rip. But here we go, boys. Jeez, this thing's heavy. I gotta stand up on this thing just to get it out. It's a heavy unit, I'll tell you that. So here she is in all her glory. 84 decibels, power switch in the back looks like a fan on the end of the motor which is nice for longevity keeps it nice and cool obviously we gotta follow these instructions um i guess i was told not to mess with this knob so i'm not going to we have our gauge right here this bubble is meant to be there um it's not all right guys sorry the gopro cut out on me a little bit so uh battery died on it so we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing all set up right now. Um, so this is our water inlet, and this is our hose output. So the first thing we're gonna do is obviously, we're gonna throw some Teflon tape over it. Um, that way we don't get any leaks or anything. Do about three, four wraps. That way she's good to go, she don't leak. I might have wrapped that in the wrong direction. Uh, all right, sorry guys, you're gonna interrupt my phone call there. Um, so we just wrap this output for the hose in Teflon tape. I gotta go grab an adapter to adapt this to a quick connect, which is already installed on here, which also has a swivel as well, because why not? Swivels are great. So we'll get our adapter bolted onto here, and then we'll be good to go. So the type of adapter you're gonna need if you do buy this combo from Detail Division is a double-sided female, uh, 3 8 quick connect and a female M22, which all you do is stick this on there, 
thread around. And you don't want to go crazy tight with these things be, and just because you don't want it to accidentally get locked on there. It's a good thing about using brass. Um, it's not really going to cause, I forgot what the technical term is for it, but two unlike metals typically don't jive well, especially in a wet scenario like a recon shop would be. Um, so, you know, it definitely, it definitely pays best to use like materials. Because if you use stainless on this, you know, it might corrode and you might not get it off. Granted, everything on this machine is serviceable, but I want to make sure I don't have to service it until it's absolutely necessary. So basically, I mean, the setup's pretty much done. Um, literally, all we do is take this. Boom. Like, we're good to go. This machine's ready to rip. Um, I just got to swap out this oil fill cap uh, with this one. And that's basically it. I mean... I wouldn't expect much of a setup for this. I mean, the setup eventually is going to get mounted on the wall and a hose reel and everything. So that's going to take some time to plan to get everything set up, but it'll be worth it in the long run. But I got to say, like, this is a tiny little machine. It's compact. It's heavy though, so you know it's good quality. It's made in Germany. I mean, it's got rubber isolated bushings. It's got you can actually service the oil on it and everything. It's got a real long, looks like good quality SJO cord for the cord, a GFI right here. Um, so it is protected. I mean, I don't know what else to say, guys. Like, this thing is fucking sweet. And it sounds dumb to get super hyped up about a power washer, but when you use something every day, like, why not have the best one you can get? And I'm honestly just pumped to hear how quiet this thing is. Everybody rants and raves about how quiet it is. I cannot wait to see it. But yeah, we're going to get this oil cap uh, swapped out, um, check the oil level on it, prime it. We're going to run this thing for like 10 minutes without turning the machine on or even plugging it into power. That way there's absolutely zero air in the system. I got a 50 foot lead hose, which is currently plugged into the other power washer, so there will be air in it. You do not want this machine to cavitate. Cavitation kills these things since it is a pump. Um, so anytime you disconnect this, run it for at least 10 minutes with this taken off of it that way water just flows out of it and you release all the air before actually making the pump work this will save your unit a lot of life i personally don't ever plan on detaching the hose from this so i won't have to worry about it but just a quick tip for any of you mobile guys who bring your machine to the job and everything but it's a sweet unit um we're gonna go get it bled out and then we'll check back in with you guys with the first power up can't wait anticipation's killing me but i got her all primed up no air in the lines 50 foot hose she's all ready to rip and uh i cannot believe how quiet this thing is so silent i mean scott wasn't lying when he said that the water output is louder than the machine itself and I am so happy I purchased this machine. I know the longevity is there, so I'm not even stressing that. I am just beyond thrilled to have a quiet power washer that's going to work every time. 50 feet of hose effortlessly. I still got to get it all set up and everything, but I'm going to put it through its paces right now. I got a, uh, a Ram 2500 I got to get done. So we're going to put this thing to use right away. and. That's it for this one, guys. Um, just a quick little setup on the Kronzel K1622 TS unit. Um, it's a ripper for sure. Uh, I can't wait to you know actually show you guys some videos of me using this thing without having to listen to that annoying Sun Joe prime every two seconds and the awful screeches it makes. I mean, this thing's so quiet. Like, I am blown away. I wish I got one of these sooner, but thankfully business is booming. So I was able to make this purchase. Um, I added another weapon to my arsenal. And in this industry, all the weapons you have make you a more efficient detailer, a better detailer. And just all around, just having high quality stuff just makes your life that much easier. And that's it for this one, guys. I want to say thank you for checking this video out. If you have any questions about how I like the Kronzel, um, anything like that, feel free to drop a comment below. Um, we're more than happy to go over anything we get. You know, you want to see a video of this thing in action, I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, that's it for this one. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm just pumped. Got a fresh pressure washer. I get the breaker in, and uh, that's it, guys. Please always remember, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.